All right, I'd like to talk about blending. Maybe uh, you're more in a more of a choir situation or you're in something that doesn't necessarily require, you know, require being the lead singer. Maybe sometimes it is or sometimes not, but you're having trouble blending, okay? Now, I want to talk about two things about blending. And the first thing is when we talked about going from chest to head, we talked about handing it off into the head voice and, and uh, connecting that sound in order to be, be able to create one long note. Eventually, you'll get good enough at it to where you can add plenty of air to the sound, like or right? One's a fluty sound and one is a nice brassy sound, okay? But eventually you'll get good enough at it to where no matter where you are at the chord and no matter where you are in your mix, you can add as much air or as much bright timbre or brassy sound to the mix, right? Okay, this will happen. And it has to do with uh, a, a, a technique we use called glottal compression, which I'm gonna cover uh, in volume three. Uh, I'll start it in two, but then I'll really uh, accentuate it in volume three. And now let's talk about the actual blending part of when you're singing with other people and you want to don't want to stick out like a sore thumb. If I'm singing a phrase like, you know, love, love me do, you know I love you, I'll always be true, so please love me do, right? Okay, well, if I'm singing that heavy and that bright and that pointed, I'm going to stick out from all my friends that I'm trying to sing together. Love, love me do. You know I love you. I'll always be true. Right? So please love me do. Right? I use a controlled amount of air to warm up the sound and relax into the sound. So it's like, love me do. It's not a real bright brassy. Love me do. Because I want to listen to the person next to me and blend in to the sound of the choral or, you know, however many people I'm singing with so that I'm not sticking out like a sore thumb. And basically that's it. And you've got to kind of play with it. The key to it, again, is to not use too much air because, again, it can dry you out and eventually then inhibit when it's time for you to go up and do a solo to sing something nice, bright, and brassy. All right?